Okay, so on this channel, we look at a lot of quote-unquote high-end monitors trash, and frankly, guys, I've had it up to here with 1440p monitors at $1,000 plus, so please, there's got to be some good 4K HDR monitors incoming, and thankfully, it looks like our prayers have been answered because a new challenger is approaching. What am I talking about? The Neo G9. No, not that garbage. I'm talking about the 2023 4K version, which is much larger and hopefully much better as well. And excuse me if I sound a little bit nasally. I am sick at the moment, but these things cannot wait, guys. We got to talk about monitors. I can't help myself but expose myself to the garbage that we have to view on a daily basis. But but like I mentioned, hey, maybe this one will actually be pretty good because it has a really, really high resolution, a really good refresh rate, and it's going to be a nice size. What exactly are they going to be? Well, from the last time that I looked at it at CES, and I have seen some other stuff recently as well, here's what I know about this monitor so far. It should be a 57 inch. No, don't get me wrong. 57 inches is very large, but guys... This is a super ultra wide, so this is actually a really, really good size for this monitor, and it's part of the reason I'm actually very excited for this mini LED with, I believe, over 2,000 local dimming zones. Don't quote me on that, but I believe at the time when I asked them, that's what they told me, and I don't think things have changed, but I would expect it to be somewhere around there. 4K super ultra wide, which means yes, we're talking about 7680 by 2160 is the resolution you should be seeing on this monitor that is also going to be a really bright monitor as well, thanks to those mini LED backlights. Now, knowing Samsung, I don't think there's going to be an official HDR certification on this display, but if I was to guess, it'll probably be called HDR 2000 again because in theory, under the right conditions, you should be able to get it to hit 2,000 nits. I mean, guys, it's Samsung we're talking about, so just because it can technically hit 2,000 nits, probably gonna get absolutely nowhere close to that in games. And on top of that, I'll be surprised if we don't get some dead pixels on this thing as well. But that being said, if you can actually get a good version with no defects on it, if you can play Russian Roulette and actually win, well then, this monitor, in theory, should be very, very good. I mean, not only, like I mentioned, is it going to be super high resolution and super bright for a really immersive gaming experience, especially with a nice curve that it'll have as well, but it's also going to be 240 hertz and DisplayPort 2.1. Now, before you freak out, if you're an NVIDIA user, yes, it will have HDMI 2.1 as well. However, you will have to use display stream compression and I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna be like 220 hertz or 240 hertz on the HDMI 2.1. I think it's really gonna depend on what type of compression they're gonna be using. However, guys, don't be worried about compression either. I talked to VESA and even up to a three to one compression algorithm, it is technically a lossless compression algorithm. So whether or not you're using AMD or NVIDIA, you should, in theory, be able to drive around 240 hertz at that 7680 by 2160 resolution, making this an experience that we have never seen before. But guys, guys, this is made by Samsung, so we gotta talk about the potential pitfalls because my God, I have had so many issues with Samsung displays between dead pixels, monitors dying on me, and scan lines. What can we expect out of this display? Well, I think if you use DisplayPort 2.1, there's really no reason this thing should have scan lines. Hopefully that's not gonna be a feature on this display like it was with the Neo G8. If it is, that's gonna be an instant no buy from me. But if it has no scan lines and you can actually get a good model like I mentioned earlier, yeah, this should be a really, really good high-end monitor for gaming and work. There's just one other issue, and guys, when I saw it at CES, oh my lord, yes, it had a matte finish. Jesus Christ, can we please, please, for the love of God, get a good monitor that doesn't have a matte finish. Now, for whatever reason, Samsung doesn't want to use a glossy finish on their mini LED monitors. I have no idea why. It makes no sense. Their OLED monitors use a glossy finish, and they look absolutely fantastic, but their monitors like the Neo G8 use a hideous matte finish, and when I last saw this 57-inch 
4K super ultra wide monitor. Unfortunately, yes, it had a matte finish at that time. Now things could change. It seemed to be an engineering sample, so maybe it will eventually have a glossy finish. But guys, we're coming up on the release date here as I believe it's supposed to be releasing in the next couple of months. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's when it's going to be happening. And yeah, if we're getting this close and there's still signs of it being a matte finish, unfortunately, it's probably going to be a matte finish. So between that and the super high price that I'm expecting, which it should be over $2,000, it's going to be really, really hard for me to recommend this, no matter how good it is, because if you're charging over $2,000, it better have a premium finish, and a matte finish is not a premium finish. That is a garbage tier, bottom of the barrel finish that absolutely nobody should have to put up with for over, honestly, even like $350. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their RuPro AK HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable, available in sizes ranging from 3 to 165 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K at 60 FPS or 4K at 120 FPS HDR10 video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports eARC. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.